Gloria Anzaldúa in Borderlands La Frontera towards a mestiza consciousness is coming from a Latina feminist consciousness and this idea and this rejection of having one specific identity or one specific um, racial background or cultural background. She's kind of embracing this idea of having multiple identities because she is oppressed for many reasons. She is oppressed not only because she's a woman, not only because she's a lesbian, but also because she has these multiple types of racial and ethnic identities. So she is Mexican, but she's also um, embodies the indigenous identity and the European identity because I'm sure you're uh, familiar with this idea, but um, Spain colonized most of cent Central South America and Mexico. And so she, as someone who is Mexican, is both indigenous and also European. And she feels that these sides of her are clashing and she doesn't really know how to grapple with it. And I think this applies to a lot of people who have multiple types of identities who are multiracial. Um, myself, like I'm half Hungarian, which is European, and then half Indian, like Asian Indian. And so oftentimes society assumes that you identify more with like one particular ethnic group or racial group, or that you have um, one main identity, and that's just not how it is. And I think this also can apply for like gender and sexuality. But trying to force people into one category really limits them. And Anzal Dua discusses how it's really limiting to her as a person um, because that's not how life is. It's not how identity is. And so she says that she gives this theory that's been provided of having a fifth race, which is the opposite idea of an Aryan race, where the fifth race is not just this pure one race, right? But a fifth race is like a mixture of all, of all four races. Um, and it's this crossing over of, you know, cultural ideas and ways of living. And so it's a means of promoting kind of this exchange of culture, this exchange of traditions and ways of life, because borders limit her. And she embodies and she feels a sense of ambiguity, but having to say, having to check one box on a form, right, is very limiting to her. And having to identify in one way is very limiting and restrictive. It doesn't really embody the complex human being that she is. So this is where she refers to the term la mestiza, which means to be torn between ways to embody contradictory identities, perhaps to embody an identity that's viewed as an oppressor, but also an oppressed identity. How do you kind of navigate those multiple ways of existing and those multiple types of identities? And so um, we can kind of think about how we can transfer um, cultural ideas and traditions to other groups of people and have like a mixture of these ideas instead of having it be like quarantined in specific ways. She's, she feels like she's in a state of flux, a state of constant movement, and it's just kind of shifting all over the place, and she just doesn't know how she can kind of navigate the situation. So who does she belong to? She says, I'm mixed, right? I don't belong to one race or one ethnicity or one culture. I belong to many races, many ethnicities, many cultures. And she experiences this shock, this cultural collision, um, where she feels this collision between her indigenous side, but also her European side. And therefore she doesn't belong, she doesn't really feel like she belongs to either of those sides. So how does one cope with this choke, with this mixture of identities? Well, she discusses that we have to kind of have this, develop this tolerance and this acceptance for ambiguity for saying, you know what? I don't necessarily identify more with this European side or this Mexican side. I have different types of identities and neither of them in themselves um, really kind of embody who I am. And so uh, these rigid boundaries that we have in our society basically kind of refer to a death for her, right? Think about just having multiple types of identities and ways of existing, but then having to force yourself into one identity, right? That is a type of death for her as someone who is a Mexican, indigenous, European, um, Latina feminist who's also a lesbian. So having, forcing herself into one identity is a cultural death for her. It's, it's an existential death for her. And that's why we have to kind of think about how, okay, you know what, some of my identities contradict one another and that's okay, right? Just trying to develop that tolerance and that ambiguity for saying, you know what, I have mixed identities, I have contradictions, and that's just who I am. As she refers to it by saying she has a plural personality, right? So she has a personality that embodies, that's not just like one type of self or one way of existing, but many personalities personalities, many ways of existing. And that's why the, uh, the way of kind of grappling with this is through developing a mestiza consciousness, a mixed consciousness where she balances 
many cultures and doesn't identify exclusively with one or the other. And she also calls for a breaking down of dichotomies and opposition, where many people, we have this kind of um, binary of like, you're either black or white, or you're either gay or straight, or, um, you know, you're either evil or good. And that's not really how real life is. And so she feels this tension between like indigenous ways of thinking and Western ways of thinking. And these dichotomous ways of existing isn't helping anyone, right? It's making people more miserable. And specifically, it makes herself more miserable because she doesn't identify with either or. That's not how her identity is. So she feels like, you know, she doesn't have a country. She doesn't have a homeland, right? She is a mixture. She's a multiplicity. And so that's why she says as a lesbian, she doesn't have any, she doesn't have a race because there being a lesbian, being LGBTQ plus is looked down upon. Um, she also says she's culturalist as a feminist because being a feminist is not something that is celebrated in our society, right? It's kind of like a taboo word. So embracing the multiplicity, embracing the plural personalities, embracing that ambiguity and that mixed or mestiza consciousness is a way of kind of grappling with having multiple types of identities and, and being multiracial um, and having, you know, and like I said, this can apply not just to race and ethnicity, but it can also apply to gender and sexuality, where just forcing anyone to be on one side um, and to categorize themselves in one specific way does not really encapsulate the multiplicity of our identities.